evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Hashtag Actors Life, the show all for and about the hustle and bustle lives of actors. Here, it's all about the film and television business through the personal perspectives of industry professionals. On tonight's season finale, we have a very special guest here in the building, ladies and gentlemen. New York SAG after local president Mike Hodge is here to tell us all about this wonderful and solid union that stands so strongly behind the acting community. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Don't go nowhere. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the season finale of Hashtag Actors Life. And before we get to our guest of honor, I would just like to take a moment to say, successful acting careers don't happen overnight. As a matter of fact, nothing happens overnight. It's all a process. All those actors that you see when you look at the big screens and the successful TV shows, what you're seeing is the result of perseverance and persistence. There is no shortcut to success and neither is there a set path. It's a journey that you're going to have to experience on your own. And if acting is a profession that you truly feel is for you, then you're just gonna have to put in the work. Plain and simple. Now tonight's guest of honor is truly an honor to be here. Um, New York SAG after local president Mike Hodge is here to Tell us all the things you, you thought you knew and much information that you didn't know about this strong, solid actors union. Uh, oh, well, I've been doing some equity theater work. Actually, one project away from becoming sad. Hey, mom. Um, so guess what? I'm in SAG now. Oh, that's <laughs> great, honey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Hey, everybody. Chelsea's going to be a SAG after. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Oh, so you're going to be a SAG after? That's wonderful, honey. So when's that coming up? Oh, uh, no, Mom. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special episode of Hashtag Actors Life. I have here my special guest this evening, SAG AFTRA New York local president Mike Hodge. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's very much my <laughs> pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. No problem, no problem. Now, I know SAG AFTRA, like mm. the, the acronym itself, is the Screen Actors Guild mm -hmm. and the Ameri American Federation for Television, Television, Television Film. Radio. Radio and American Federation of Television and Radio Artists. Radio yeah. Artists. Yeah. yeah. So, in essence, you guys like cover like all if, artists if, in the if, business. Pretty if much. If you work in front of a camera <laughs> or behind a microphone, you are covered by SAG-AFTRA. Wow. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, and we were um, for almost eighty years. We were two separate unions. It was SAG that covered film and television, and mm -hmm. AFTRA covered uh, radio and television. Mm -hmm. And included in their in AFTRA's list was al were also um, a, a broadcast journalists. So, nice. uh, in fact, they started as a broadcast journalism union, and SAG started as a film union. Mm -hmm. And as time went by, and everything, you know, emerged and merged, etc. Um, we began to actually have issues with television we mm -hmm. that's where we kind of met each other and had clashes if you will and yeah. um, and we tried for almost 50 years to merge wow. finally in, in March 12th March 30th uh, 2012 we finally got it done wow. and I am so proud of that exactly. yeah. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well I, I know a lot of actors mm -hmm. are familiar with the union, but mm -hmm. they don't really understand like the value <laughs> of being a part of the yeah. union. So, what exactly does you know SAG-AFTRA provide to the acting community? Well, the reason that the union exists, mm -hmm. of SAG and then AFTRA and now SAG-AFTRA, the reason that the union exists is a to negotiate your contracts, mm -hmm. to uh, set a floor. Mm -hmm. you, th you can negotiate more if you want, mm -hmm. but they can't pay you any less than the union has negotiated. 
uh, and they uh, negotiate, we negotiate conditions, circumstances. Ha places that you work have to be sanitary, they have to be safe, that you can't be asked to do anything that, that you feel unsafe about. Mm -hmm. We have representatives who are available and sometimes are there on set if you're being asked to do something you feel is not safe and right. or dangerous. Um, and we also, um, we make sure the contracts are obeyed. Mm -hmm. uh, enforcement. Um, there have been a case, occasions I remember uh, shortly after we merged, our, he's now our national executive director. You saw him on uh, Monday, mm -hmm. Jeffrey Bennett, but he was yeah. then our lead lawyer in New York, and he was in a suit and tie, and I almost never see him in a t suit and tie. So what's this about? He goes, well, we just had a, a hearing today. And I got, I won't say the name, mm -hmm. this, uh, this person who hosted a show mm -hmm. for a number of years, mm -hmm. over $100,000 in back pay. Right. Wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we take care of, we make sure that people get paid on time, we make sure that they get paid appropriately, mm -hmm. and there are penalties. The penalties are not that much, but we have other, we have things to make sure that they just, uh, not that they toe the line, because I'd like to think of them as our partners, Right. but we sometimes have to remind them that, yes, we are partners. Right, <laughs> right. Well, you know, business is business. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> of course. Uh, now. There are certain perks that mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. along with being a member, and I wasn't aware of these perks <laughs> until I joined <laughs> myself. I was like floored. So, yeah. like, what are some of the perks of being a member? Well, we have uh, the Actors Fund, and I will tell you, I've been a member. I've been in, in New York. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've been in New York since 1980. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and working as an actor, and without the Actors Fund, mm -hmm. I would not have survived uh, because. They understand that actors don't have regular work, right. that there are sometimes fallow periods that you might need some help. Right. So they are there to help you with um, emergency funds if mm -hmm. you need them. They can, like I think twice a year, I don't have any, I, I don't have all the specifics about them, but their website is actorsfund.org. Mm -hmm. uh, but they can get, they can, they'll pay your rent, they'll pay your, your utilities, they'll write. Right. Yeah, and they have counseling services. Like if you are going through a really bad time and you need to have yeah. somebody to talk to, yeah. they help you through that. And that, that's wonderful. Like oh. you, you need somebody <laughs> <laughs> to talk to. They for have. This I, I went online last night just to make mm -hmm. sure I didn't leave anything out, and so mm -hmm. I've got this list. And they have services for seniors. They they provide. Uh, they work with the the city and other organizations to make sure that there's housing available, low wow. income housing available for actors. Uh, wow. They have, to have uh, health services, uh, financial wellness training. Wow. And there's a guy who has been gone a long time ago, but he left money for a fund, believe it or not. I've never used it, but I think it's great. Mm -hmm. Because actors have to walk a lot, he left money for a fund mm -hmm. that you can buy, sh he'll pay 40, that this fund will give you $40 towards a pair of shoes as long as they're $100 or less. Okay. Wow, really? <laughs> then there's the Lillian Booth uh, Retirement Home, mm -hmm. um, and there's um, a medical center. Um, wow. It's, oh, HIV AIDS initiative to help people go through that entire process if you happen to be ill, and oh, wow. it's holistic approach. I mean, it's, a, it's just a lot, a lot of different things. Wow. Yeah, and then we have the foundation. Yeah. The sag After Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, love the sag After Foundation. It's in our offices. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, our offices are at 1900 Broadway. Right. And the sag After Foundation is right across the hall from us. And they have, I love this, they have a voiceover studio. Uh, and it's a lab and a couple of studios. Mm -hmm. And once a week, there's a class that you take, you can take with a voiceover, voiceover professional. Uh, and there are also scenarios where you can sign up and get one-on-one -on -one training if that's what you're looking for. Um, there is the conversations program, which mm -hmm. is when a celebrity can, they will come and to a theater space. That we go, by the way, we don't have a theater now, but we're going to have one. I right. think it'll be in the fall down on 54th Street. Mm -hmm. But they come and we'll screen one of their projects. It's mm -hmm. a film or a television show. and then. Right. And then the interviewer will talk to them about their path, how they got from the beginning of their career to now. It's That's mm -hmm. designed to be a, um, an inspiration for people who are trying to get to where they are. Yeah. 
Right. Then there is uh, the business. Now, mm -hmm. you go to acting school. Yeah. And they don't ever tell you how to take care of the business of your business. Right. So right. they have seminars to help you with that. Right, yeah. which I think is, is essential. Right. Um, there is, um, oh, casting access. Once a week, again, uh, a casting professional will come in and you can audition for them. They'll help, they'll tra help train you in how to um, handle an audition, mm -hmm. prepare you f to go through auditions. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have uh, Book Pals, which is something that we do for the community. Oh, yeah. If you're an actor mm -hmm. and you feel like you, you want to give back, uh, the pro this program is designed to go to elementary schools and you read to the classes uh, at nice. on in your leisure time. Yeah. Um, oh, and we have uh, we have computer classes. Mm -hmm. I know that when I first want asked that we have them, it was specifically for seniors who were um, computer illiterate. Yeah. yeah. And now they're open to pretty much anybody, and they get training. We have both Macs and Windows. Oh, wow. And you get trained on programs that may be useful to you in the industry, like mm -hmm. Final Cut Pro, um, web building, um, things like that. Wow. Yeah. And then we also have a uh, studio with a camera mm -hmm. for, for the times when you need to do uh, self-tape. Really? Yeah. And the thing that I love about this is but, uh, with both of them, mm -hmm. the sag after and the foundation, mm -hmm. it doesn't cost the members anything. It does. It is right. not. Uh, none of it uses any of the members' dues yes. to create. None of it. Wow. You know, and also they both, both SAG after and the uh, SAG after Foundation and the Actors Fund, mm -hmm. have funds for catastrophic uh, scenarios. Like mm -hmm. when the last time we had a, well, the last couple times we had hurricanes, right. they were able to uh, reach out and help members mm -hmm. who had been affected by the hurricane. And I know that the foundation has a catastrophic health uh, um, fund, mm -hmm. uh, a member who had actually been a board member. And I, I know this is because he'd been a board member, mm -hmm. but it, it's open to anybody. Um, he developed early onset uh, Parkinson's. He was about wow. 40, I think. Wow. And he got to the point where he really couldn't work, and he had a wife and three kids. Wow. The foundation helped him through a whole bunch of processes once he ran out of his health care. Oh, wow. And then we also have two separate uh, scholarship funds for you and or a member dependent, like a child or mm -hmm. wife or something. Three different scholarships, but two separate funds. So, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That is amazing. And oh. I know you guys also have a pension. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, if you if you are in the business and you are working seriously and you are making um, making uh, money, making a living, mm -hmm. you're going to accrue money towards a pension. And also you will be able to uh, get um, health care. I mean, mm -hmm. I for many, many years had both when it, we were SAG and then separately after and before mm -hmm. health care got to be so ridiculously expensive. Right. I regularly had both SAG and after health care when many of my friends were struggling, who were not in the business, were mm -hmm. struggling to have health care at all. Wow. And um, the only reason I s only have one now is because of the premiums. Right. <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. Wow. So pretty much you guys like just support the actors yeah. community and, altogether. I mean, yeah, and I mean it's one of the things I think is just tremendously important. I mean, mm -hmm. I've, I've been in the business for a long time. I know the kinds of things we need. One of the things I really am looking forward to doing now because it's important. I noticed how few people actually understand the contracts. Sometimes yeah. they think they do and they don't. Yeah. So we're going to start having uh, contract seminars. For nice. As many contracts as we possibly can. Because mm -hmm. um, now the, the key is going to be getting people to come into the office to do it. Right. But we have an office that is appealing and attractive, and I think it's worth coming to visit. Right, um, and, and definitely for that kind of information, though, because contracts yes. are very important. You know, yeah. I mean... It, your 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 wage is in it's there, like you know your <laughs> just you know um, it's everything that's promised to you, like in negotiations, yeah. like it's, it's put on paper. It's like this is this is solid here. And one of the things I used to do before, long before computers, mm -hmm. whenever I got a job, I'd go to the union and I 
pick up the book, mm -hmm. and that night I would read over the part of the contract mm -hmm. that I thought was going to be viable the next day, just so I would understand what was going on. Mm -hmm. And in that way, I learned the contracts. Well, a lot of people don't take the time to do that. Right. You know? Right. And they trust that it's going to be okay. okay. And right. usually it is, but you mm -hmm. can never know. Right. You know? Right. Uh, do you guys have, I know it's uh, there's a national uh, board of, mm -hmm. you know, SAG after union, mm -hmm. but you have like a different like individual uh, locations, right? We have, uh, I believe we have like 25 locals. Mm -hmm. I, I, I lose count, but mm -hmm. yeah, we have 25 locals and New York and LA are both national offices. Okay. Uh, but we have uh, literally offices around the country uh, mm -hmm. designed to serve all the members, members are all over the country, mm -hmm. des designed to serve everybody as much as we can everywhere. You wow. know? Now, one thing I know that is a major concern mm -hmm. for a lot of actors out there is the the initiation fee, like the members' <laughs> fee. It's a huge concern. I know when I reached must join status, that was like my concern. I was like, oh my goodness, like how am I gonna be, you know, pay this? But I went down to the office right. and you know, I was just asking questions. I was like, yeah, I have this job tomorrow and I need <laughs> to join. Like, there. what are my options? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but you, you guys do have like options. Yeah, yeah we do. Uh, we very, we were very clear when we decided on the initiation fee. Now, mm -hmm. I will say the initiation fee, when we merged, um, I think the uh, the after initiation fee was sixteen hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. The SAG initiation fee was something like maybe twenty four, mm -hmm. twenty three. Mm -hmm. So the three thousand is less than what it would have been. And most people, if you had if you joined one, at some point you're going to have to join the other one. Yeah. So in that way, it is cheaper than it would have been before we merged. Right. But just not all at once is what it what it is now. Mm -hmm. But with the union itself has a payment plan. But you spread, I think the, I don't remember specifically what the down payment is, mm -hmm. uh, but it's spread out over six months. Right. But more to the point, and I think this is really great because uh, we realize that, that everybody wouldn't be able to pay it off in six months, that it was really unfair to ask an actor mm -hmm. who's just getting on the ground and getting his right. feet wet to do that. So we went to the credit union, um, the Actors Federal Credit Union. Mm -hmm. And that's and another amazing thing, because they know <laughs> yes. there was a, a, a credit union for actors. Like, yes. really? Like, yes, ah, yes. Well, it's not just for actors. Mm -hmm. It's for everybody who's in an entertainment union, in yeah, entertainment unions, everybody mm -hmm. in the business. So, uh, but yeah, um, wow. they, they, again, they know how we work. Mm -hmm. So if you need to do business with them, first off, it's a credit union, so it's much cheaper than any kind of uh, money making bank yeah. and the services are geared towards people who work periodically mm -hmm. you can they, there's um, mortgages there are home equity loans there are car loans there are there's checking accounts and saving accounts and you can make you can pay uh, bills online and I think the only thing I pay for at this point uh, is a dollar ninety nine a month to be able to pay my bills online I don't have to pay for check, and I don't have to pay for say, for say nothing, oh, wow. right? You know. Oh right. <laughs> but 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 we went to the credit union and we asked them if mm -hmm. they could create a loan for us, mm -hmm. and they said uh, the wonderful Steve Sabota, who does their promotions and stuff. You, you saw him the other night. Mm -hmm. He uh, said, "Of course, yes." So I don't know exactly what the interest rate is, but I know it's a low interest rate loan that uh, you can pay off uh, either over a year or a year or two years. Mm -hmm. um, the only condition is that you have an account, right. and to open an account, all you need is a hundred dollars. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's just this, like, for, for me, like I said, it, it, ever since I joined, I joined, like, uh, back in October, mm -hmm. so it hasn't even been a year mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. But, like, understanding, like, the value of what I'm a part of, yeah. it just makes it even that much more special. It's like, yeah. you know, and it's just, it just... I, it just blows my mind, like, wow. Something I just remembered. Uh, this week we started some, a project we call Open Door. It's yeah. kind of like um, the uh, actor's access that mm -hmm. the 
foundation does, but mm -hmm. the, the foundation has, it's, a cl it's done in a classroom, it's done on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. This, the um, open door is done, we do that every other year just mm -hmm. because of logistics. And it's open to any and everybody and um, we, the idea is to help uh, members find agents mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. get to know casting directors. Yeah. So um, I was talking to the lady who runs that the other day, and she said, well, on two days we had th uh, 380 people one day and 385 the next, and then on the third day we had 500. Wow. So, you know, wow. we'd like to keep them coming. Exactly. <laughs> well, and, and that's a great thing, though, the organization supports uh, actors and, and, you know, gives you the tools to keep working. Yes. And to you know, build you up for success, for a successful career. Yeah. Like, my only thing is, though, like, I know there are some actors who are concerned about once they join the union, you know, their work opportunities being limited. Uh, I would not, I would not agree with that, but I do know the experiences of some. I have actually talked to, to some who've had that as an issue. For the most part, when that is a problem, it's because they have not prepared themselves to be professional, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that I will tell anybody who is looking to go into this business, mm -hmm. study. Right. You don't have to go to a university, but find some really um, reputable school, group, mm -hmm. whatever, where you can get training because there's some basic skill sets that you need to have yeah. that actually helps you m look more natural when you're doing the work. Right, right. I mean, one of the reasons people think that it's so easy is because it just looks so easy. Right. But right. they don't but know the work that it takes to look that easy. Exactly. Yeah. And being on film is like a, a lot more technical tool yeah. uh, than people realize. Yeah. You know, being in a position where, okay, you have to be aware of the camera, and yeah. then like, okay, well, wait a minute. It's like, okay, cut, hold on, you spike the camera. Okay, well, I have to make sure where my eye line is. Right. And, <laughs> and, you know, and then, you know, just consistently and repeatedly, like, you know, repeating the line and developing that same emotion. And so Keeping the shots Keeping it natural are, while right. being, oh, being redundant. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And, it, you know, so it is a lot more work yeah. than it's people realize. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Um... um I know we had a conversation earlier about the reality TV, like a lot mm. of the reality stars. Yes. They, um, th some of them, though, have a, a foundation, right. though, in acting yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, one of the things that I think, because there's been an explosion of, I'll back up. Um, for many years in New York, we had, um, the requirement to get in the union was a, um, a principal role. Right. You had to be a, um, have speaking lines, mm -hmm. and by the third time you had to join. Mm -hmm. In LA, there was an um, organization called it was a union called the Screen Extras Guild. In LA, they didn't treat extras as actors. Uh, no, right. Really? They, be, if they were people who just really wanted to be around the stars. They really weren't. They wanted to be around the stars. And they wanted to be on the set. So they had their own union. And um, oh, wow. Right. And. <laughs> But, uh, and they, for a while they, they thrived and then they began to really um, falter mm -hmm. and we made a decision that we would take over the jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. And when we did that, we made it national. Mm -hmm. And because of, uh, there's some legal things that I'm not really clear about, mm -hmm. uh, we had to change our entry requirements mm -hmm. so that you can become a member mm -hmm by simply doing background work. And I'm not minimizing by when I say simply doing, but mm -hmm. you don't have to be a, have done any principal, principal work, work at all. Okay. What that's led to is people who join with an expectation, not all, mm -hmm. but some join with the expectation of becoming plucked out of the crowd and then yeah. becoming a star. And a lot of that is rooted in the whole celeb uh, the whole reality, reality TV, TV thing. thing. Right. Because it looks like those people who are doing reality TV are, you know, they are just regular people who then become celebrities and sometimes they go on to do movies mm -hmm. and television yeah. stuff. Well, the ones who go on to do movies and television, for the most part, those are people who've already trained and already studied and they were not just regular Joes, if you will. Right. They already right. knew the craft. Mm -hmm. They just happened to have this as a way to get started. Like, like a platform. Exactly. So yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, it, as you know, the the business itself has changed mm -hmm. with the, all the web series and 
you know, it's, it's so many more opportunities like for for artists, you know, to, mm -hmm. to create their own platform, mm -hmm. you know, which is, you know, it went from reality TV, which was just kind of pretty much a, a simple right. platform for people to get out there and be on TV. But, you know, now it's, you have YouTube, and then you have, you know, you have Vimeo, you have um, uh, Netflix, right. and they're right. creating their own content, and, and, and it's, it, it, it's put a totally different spin, a totally different perspective on the business. It has, and it has made it difficult for us if, as actors, performers, mm -hmm. if you will, because, um, and one of the biggest complaints I get, mm -hmm. because the residual structure, now, b the thing that I love about being an actor is mm -hmm. you do a job, mm -hmm. and if that show reruns, you will get a residual payment, yes. another payment for having done that job. Mm -hmm. The structure, as is based on the size of the audience that's probably going to see it or that has seen it. Mm -hmm. Because there's so much out there, yeah. it diminishes the volume of the eyes per project. Yeah. So the residual structures are nowhere near as great as they once were. Right. It's one of those things because everything is in flux right now, and mm -hmm. we are truly, we have a team of people who is actually on top of it. Mm -hmm. We are, if I'm not mistaken, the only entertainment union who has a chief economist. Somebody who studies the industry, mm -hmm. who studies the trends, who can tell us what's happening, mm -hmm. tell us what density is where about what and what to look, you know, so mm -hmm. we can actually be prepared when we go in to negotiate. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, that's been extremely helpful. Mm -hmm. But uh, a lot of people go in to come into the business expecting to make the money that was made, say, 20 years ago, say, on a commercial. Right. And um, it's not impossible, mm -hmm. but it's not as likely as it once was. Yeah. On the next Hashtag Actors Life. It's our second and final installment of the season finale with New York local SAG-AFTRA president and national vice president, Mike Hodge. Don't miss it.